Greetings. I'll leave the date in the description. Let's get into what I just got done today. Late February, as the fog rests on the crests of the mountains, and things are happening. I just watered uh, four, four buckets, so 20 gallons in here. 10 on this side, 10 on this side, and I just sown some uh, sugar snap peas. I'm looking for the, here we go, sugar snap peas, but they were packed for 2022. It was an unopened packed pack from Wood Prairie Family Farm. Bridgewater, Maine. It's where I get my all organic uh, seed potatoes from. They got a lot of good veggie seed too. Been su supporting them for the past few years. Anyways, it was an unopened pack and I don't know how long peas last and they weren't in a mason jar. So we'll see how the germination goes. But as I stated in the last video, I was going to sow those peas in here to help fixate some nitrogen and equal out my nitrogen to carbon ratio to unlock some nutrients from the high concentration of carbon aka wood chips and that should help everything that's uh, overwintered to grow a little bit better and then we have all this little tiny baby spinach transplants throughout the whole bed that were overwintered. I explained that in more depth in the last video. I'll link to that video here. It's uh, all coming together. Cilantro, overwintered, the lettuce. So everything in here start to grow a little bit better if those peas have a successful germination rate it's 42 degrees Fahrenheit outside today with an overcast and with the door open we're holding at a strong 52 to 54 51 inside the high tunnel and none of these seedings did too well on germination they started to germinate and then it got too cold which is why I've been holding off this is not a heated high tunnel so it does get pretty cold in here at night but I was just estimating so I have one two three four five six seven eight need a place to walk nine ten eleven 12, 13, 14, and I could probably fit six more right at the front up there. So that would be 20 seed trays that I can fit inside, which will be good for my first succession. And then as the days get warmer, uh, once I do the May succession, those can just be done outside on uh, pallets raised up on cinder blocks and then if there's going to be a thunderstorm I'll either have to bring them all in the greenhouse or I can maybe build a little covered structure outside or I could put them under the wash pack table many different options so that's where we're at another quick end of February update I just like to do these updates because they're of great value for me to look back on and see how all of this has progressed from the beginning and um, it's of good value to maybe some of you folks so you can um, get inspired from it just stay along with the journey of how the farm's going and maybe you have some ideas for me that I didn't bring up and we can collab 
or it can inspire you in some way and you come up with a new way to do something based off of something that I've showed here. So one love wholeness, peace and blessings, thank you for your support as always and we'll see you on the next one. Salute.